You know how to play that thing, son? Welcome back to the goons. 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 Hey, Macarena. Welcome back. I don't remember how to play this shit. Is that good? Take a deep breath. So you know, I don't actual how to play this shit plays the most beautiful thing I've heard <laughs> <Yeah>. today. <laughs> that is true. That is I'm the best thing. I'm just blowing into played. this. That was pretty good. Well done. Yeah, this is this is the uh, the goons podcast. <laughs> this is this is one of them. <laughs> the great value podcast. <laughs> this is the oons, the oons podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say this is more like the Ons. We're missing the Ons. <laughs> the <Yeah>. Ons podcast. <laughs> Welcome back to the Ons. <laughs> Welcome back to the Ons. <laughs> Welcome back to the On. <laughs> on again, off again. Blarg is out of town. McNasty is doing McNasty things. And Soup and Do literally never miss a podcast ever. We will always be here. <laughs> hey, I missed last week. Who did y'all get last week? Uh, I don't think did. We, I don't remember anything past yesterday. Uh, it was me. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we got a guest now that I pondered the the past. Pondered my orb. That's yes. a lot of breath from that. How long you played that harmonica, boy? I hadn't played in a while. Were you I proficient at it at one point? Were you a shredder? I was all right. Played Let's taps. <laughs> He's pretending to be a beginner. <laughs> Oh, somebody died. <laughs> That's as far as I've gotten. <laughs> That's beautiful. You show up at somebody's funeral, it's like, well, that's, that's the best I got. We hired Just a band. Just imagine the rest. <laughs> Do you guys know that those guys that show up to play the trumpet at funerals actually just have a speaker in their trumpet? They're not even playing them, bitches? Shit's I would believe fake. that. They're lip syncing totally their trumpet that. playing. Yep. Are you sure they don't have a microphone? <clears throat> They just got a little speaker in the like the the tube hole. You got a little JBL it. Bluetooth yep. up. That's dude's J- day job. That's how he knows. Yep. <laughs> Trust. I'm leaking industry secrets. I'm the Edward Snowden of, of <laughs> funeral trumpet players. <laughs> <laughs> you just pissed off a lot of people, buddy. <laughs> the whole band is gonna chase me down now. You're gonna have to go into a uh, asylum in another country. <laughs> Isn't that what it's called? Is it called asylum or no? What is it called? It's not Run asylum. Like That's when bitch. you go crazy. A plane. What's it called? Asylum. You can seek asylum. Yeah. Like going into another country to be yeah. protected. I don't think because you go into sucks. asylum though. I think it's called something else. Sanctuary. You go into asylum when you're insane. You seek asylum when your country is dicking you down. For fun. You go into Isn't matrimony with another country. Yes. Ah, uh, they use the same word for both of those. Hmm. What does it mean? We use the same words for a lot of things that we don't mean, like fork. It could be like a tuning fork. It could be a fork you eat with. It could be a fork in the road. That's I mean, true. a waiter could ask you, do you need a fork? And they could come back with a tuner. There could be a, a fork. A perfect A. Imagine a fork in the road and a fork in the road. Whoa. Exactly. One, one pops your tire. One's a different way to go. <laughs> Holy shit. You ask a waiter for a fork, and they come back with a tuner. And you're like, wait, actually, I mean the car thing. Yeah, I, mean. I, I actually wanted two different roads on my plate. <laughs> I did not order this. I needed a tune-up on my vehicle. They come out with drumsticks and start hitting your car. <laughs> spoon spoon means two different things, too. That is yeah. true. I, feel like I need a spoon for my soup. They come over, pull their pants down, start humping you. That's happened multiple times. It's, it has to have happened. Will that hold up in court? If you tell a waiter you need a spoon and they just like rub up against you really fast. Lost in translation, sir. Look, we were at a fork in the road. We didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> is anyone still listening? <laughs> oh, Three minutes shit. in. It's oh, educational. In. <laughs> All right, that about wraps that one up. Use code goons. Like on Spotify. Thank you. We were in for Texas. Coming. We were in Texas, and we're going back to Texas in a couple of days. So that's okay, why I'm for Texas. Yeah, everything's bigger in Texas except my tallywhacker. They lied to me. I'm gonna sue them. That's fair. <laughs> sue the state of Texas. <laughs> what are you doing in Texas? What have you been doing in Texas? We went to the Metallica shows. It was yeah, baby. Awesome. 
It was a very good time. Yes, very good time. It was very good. At AT&T Stadium. Hell yeah. It was awesome. That shit packed. That shit yes. loaded. There I was, bet it was. It was a two-day event. So the first day, it was Mammoth, uh, Wolfgang Van Halen, Van Halen's son, opened yeah. the show. And then it was uh, Pantera, and then Metallica was the first night. Dude, it was wild. Like, I mean, it was like the whole city was there pretty much. Because there was also a Rangers game going on, which Damn. was like right down the street. Like so on the same big street. Big day for the city. Yeah. On the same street, yeah. There were cops everywhere. There, there was were fucking people awesome, everywhere. Though. There were people everywhere. The stadium I mean, is it, fucking massive, too, by the way. That place yeah, I is looked huge. Up, uh, I looked up the capacity while we were sitting in there because I was like, how many fucking people are in this place right now? And it said with the floor, like standing room on the actual field, is like 105,000. Damn, son. Dude, I'm so telling you, were, it's like a city in a in a one room. You're in the same room as a whole city. Uh, seriously? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. There was definitely like 100,000 people there. Can you imagine playing to 105,000 fuckers? No, I couldn't even no imagine playing to 1,000 people. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> Just as high as you can see all around you and then down yeah, below way you. Up, the floor. Way up in the fucking <laughs> ceiling. Yeah. People hanging from the rafters. But you're also talking about the same band that played in front of a million people. That's true. That's true. This is a this is a tiny baby show. They're like, oh, 100K. <laughs> Those yeah. were the those were the days early on. <laughs> it's crazy the, to me. The Wait, largest go ahead. gathering ever. Didn't we talk about that before? The Metallica played the largest show that's ever been done in human time. I'm pretty, pretty sure. sure. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, it was, was in, million people in Moscow. It's like an estimated million people. I mean, there's like helicopters God. flying 200 feet above. I mean, if, it, if the helicopter crashed, it would have killed 2,000 people. I bet the <laughs> yeah. dude. I bet the latency for the sound at that show was insane. It's like a Godzilla dub. Imagine I bet you'd see him like hit the, the drums and then it would be like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like completely <laughs> so delayed. The people in the back are one song behind. <laughs> <laughs> you get a damn like Hubble telescope to see the stage. I can't imagine yeah. shit and piss all through the streets or whatever. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> there was so much shit and piss all in there. You know, there, there's no way you're getting out of that crowd. No, once you're, you're at the person, front, three hundred thousand, and you're dead center. Like, wh- where are you going? <laughs> nowhere, dude. You're stuck there. Absolutely nowhere. Until the end of the show, you are there. Imagine you're on the barricade. You yeah. just you have shit running all down your legs. You're pissing and shitting <laughs> yourself. You're probably so dehydrated. Your turds are coming out as bricks, dude. If you got <laughs> separated oh. from your friend, like I'll meet you over there. We're going to gonna head that way. Like that'd you be. You never it. see them again. <laughs> yeah. For the three days, days later. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say, though, before I said Metallica a million times? Uh, I don't remember what I was going to say, actually. Damn it! It was, it was awesome. Yeah, It was very awesome. Yeah. Well, even, uh, even at that show, the latency, you could tell a little bit. Yeah. I feel like at certain times there was some delay. Did they play like a good mix of their older shit, or did they focus on new stuff? Like, what did they play? So, uh, it was a mixture of all like everything they've done because they played Friday night and then they played Sunday night. So okay. it was a, yeah. it was like Friday and Sunday and they played two different sets. So it was a a good mixture of everything. It was it was fucking sick. It was really cool to see. And we saw uh, Ice Nine Kills the second night. Nice. And Five Finger Death Punch open for for them or for Metallica. It was Ice Nine, Five Finger, and then Metallica. It was it was a sweet was lineup. Cool. Yeah. I missed I that Pantera. whole set. Pantera was good. The only thing that I I didn't enjoy, I wish the sound would have been a little bit better. I, I just don't I just don't know how you could I, I mean that has to be like every audio engineer's worst nightmare is doing a show like that. Yeah. Because it is so I mean, you're in a massive stadium and just the echo is right. ridiculous. Trying to dampen echo and trying to make sure that the concert's like the same loudness at each like hundred feet or something that people are. Like, yeah. That's a lot of math. And like the highs and lows too. I don't know if that makes a difference, but like the way the yeah. guitar sounds versus the drums. I don't drums know. were definitely the loudest out of everything. They had the drums. Drums sounded cranked. good though. Like five finger death yeah. punch drums, they were and Lars. I mean, they sounded really good. Yeah. They were fucking loud as hell. A lot of times, I feel like the the singer live is just completely drowned out by everything. 
I don't know. I feel like it's stadium shows. Into, stadium shows are. I feel like it's always the drums are the are the loudest. Which I mean, I I guess I get it. You want the drums to be loud. Yeah. I feel like it's like it's that way at most shows. Drums are always like the loudest fucking thing. But it seems it like sense. the bass, like bass drum or bass guitar, would be easier to send further away, like louder than like a higher pitch thing. It might it would just end up being too fucking loud for people up close, you know? I don't know if oh, that's yeah. true or not, but it just seems like that. Yeah, I think bass frequencies do travel farther and through things, but that's why you can hear like some assholes like boom system, like when they drive past your house but you can't actually tell what song it is <laughs> you or, me. Or, or whatever or at their house <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah it was awesome there were so many people dude i mean it was it was insane it was insane they had like merch everywhere they had like 18 oh, wheelers bet. just about outside of the venue all around the venue with merch <laughs> holy shit <laughs> i stood crazy. in line i missed the ice nine whole set because I was in line for a, a shirt. shirt, and they didn't even Damn. have the fucking shirt I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it was yeah, they uh, had a, nuts. They had a pop-up shop the day before the show, and they sold out of posters before before people could even get in. It was like they sold out before like the first line of people could really get in there. They sold out in an hour and a half. Holy shit. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I guess with 105,000 people, you'd have to have a dick ton of merch, bro. You would think they had more posters than that, but I mean, I get it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they maybe they only have like a set amount per city that they want to sell or something. I don't know. It was hot as shit though in Texas. That heat hot. there is is a it whole other hot. beast. It's yeah. a whole another beast. I, bet I, I still I'm still debating in my mind if it's as bad as humidity. I don't know. It, it's uh, so it's so different that it's hard to compare. I think you can cool down quicker, like when you don't have when it's humidity. Not humid. Yeah, yeah. humidity is dog shit. It's a hundred here now, and it's like uh, like ninety percent humidity every day. So that's it's, horrible. It's no outside time <laughs> ever. No go outside. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I mean, it's the same. It's here. literally dangerous. We stood in line to that uh, their pop up shop outside on the fucking sidewalk. Next to the road, which is just emitting heat. Cars yeah. driving by. What, 40, 40, 30, 40 minutes, maybe? Just, just like standing on a stovetop, essentially. Oh, yeah. But when I you're mean, in the you're shade, though, the shade is 100% better in heat like that because it's True. actually cooler in the shade. In South Carolina, it does not fucking matter if you go in the shade. It really yeah. makes no difference. Yeah, it's like yeah. a tropical rainforest. Yeah, shit's it, literally. Awful. Going into the shade somewhere like that is like you're you're basically walking into AC. Yeah. You're walking yeah. In. <laughs> but as That's soon as difference. you stick your arm out in the sun, it's like like immediately. Yeah. <laughs> God, I feel like people must reek though. If there's a hundred and five thousand people and it's a hundred degrees outside, solve for swamp ass. I well, mean, dude, the equations there. <laughs> Inside though, the AC was pumping like. That shit was working overtime. I want to know oh, how much 100%. Jerry Jones spends on AC at that place. I want to see his electric bill. Trillions. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's probably at least a million dollar a month. <laughs> Dude, I'm talking bill. like we were down low and you could feel the AC hitting you, like the wind from the AC. Yeah. Damn. Major yeah, respect to the HVAC turbine. workers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they probably had HVAC workers just on standby. <laughs> Dude, they probably <laughs> have their own. They probably got AT&T Stadium HVAC. <laughs> like they just hired a few guys who are in charge of it. <laughs> they have to. It would it would seriously be a uh, like dangerous environment. <laughs> there was no AC, <laughs> dude. Standing out in that sun. What's crazy though is I feel like I, I didn't really sweat that much. Like I'm I'm a pretty sweaty person, hmm. but I, I wasn't sweating as bad as I would if it was 100 degrees here. I sweat more on the not... plane than I did there. <laughs> yeah, the plane sucked. Interesting. The planes were hot as hell. Yeah, it was a, it was a good time. Anything going back to Texas? Texas. Going yeah, back going to Texas. Back. What are you doing in Texas this time? Promoting Grandpa's Ashes. Yep. Me and <laughs> Ethan. see this shit. Me and Ethan are going to film a promotional video for GamerSubs. Not that we want to. The CEO is making us come. Correct. He I said that he's going to. I dick to just get out of it. I'm not going. Yeah. And I'm not even got, affiliated, so I don't know how that happened. Well, I used your family as collateral. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> a lot of stuff happened without my approval on this. 
<laughs> a lot of forging of signatures yeah. happening here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, use yeah, code so goons. Use code goons so we don't get killed by the CEO of GamerSops, please. <laughs> he has our parents. Yeah, we're going to... I don't know how much I can talk about. I don't. I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, I just don't give spoil. the plot. Don't. Just don't I don't want to ruin it. Don't <laughs> yeah. it. I don't want to be ruined. You want to ride back Blarg, to Texas? Me, me, Blarg, and Ethan are going to film a little video promotional shit for the gamer subs, so we can actually sell these bitches to you guys. You guys are gonna love this shit. That these shit's right tasty. Here. On God, that shit good. It'll make you doo doo green. Yeah, I actually kill just took a massive green shit before I sat down in this chair. <laughs> I feel like that's not good. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's just the dyes that'll kill you. Try gamer subs. It's fine. It's 100% guaranteed. It's at red guaranteed. 40. <laughs> 100% guaranteed to give you green shit and kill you. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, we, uh, so like in between the shows and everything. Ethan, I'll let you tell all this because this was your your doing. Tell them about the Well, not all of it because we... Saturday night. We went to... Uh, you ha- you got tickets to uh, Fugitive. Yeah, we saw Fugitive and 200 Stab Wounds and Spirit World and Tribal Gaze. Damn, yeah. Y'all consumed a lot of music. Oh, huh? yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. We can't huh? hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys wear hearing protection at all the concerts? Absolutely not. All right, Liberal. You're, still, you're still based. I uh-huh. honestly intended to at the Saturday one because I know, like, smaller venue, you're going to be shitting and farting. But yeah, just destroyed. Yeah, I yeah. just forgot about it because I just drank all weekend. Well, you but, guys uh, probably lost uh, some high frequencies this weekend. For sure. For sure. <laughs> for for <the> sure. <laughs> Most definitely. Most definitely, bro. No, but that show was sick. We, uh, dude, a lot of people recognized me actually, which was surprising. Oh yeah, oh yeah, true. Yeah, I, I probably got recognized like ten times at least. It was in more Texas. than that. It was Holy at shit. least fifteen, I would say. It was a good bit. Well, I got, I got to ask the obvious question: Does anybody recogn- think Ethan is you? Has that ever happened? Um, not yet. I'm sure it will. Really, though. a couple I'm people. Sure it will happen. Uh, couple times at Metallica and then once on Saturday someone came up to me and they're like yo Ethan whatever and I was like do you know this dumbass because I'm obviously they're gonna know him if they know me so and they're like whoa like it's just so funny like they come up to me first like didn't even see him yeah <laughs> but Sweet, I, I just smell bad <laughs> yeah they're like never mind see you later <laughs> I just got like snot running out of my nose and I smell like BO. <laughs> I'm like, That's about what I give you a hug, boy. Especially after the show. What are you Come uploading on. right now? It is upload time, yeah. What is going up right now? <laughs> I'm uploading Siege moment Ooh. gameplay. Ooh. Ooh. All right, well, what happened? What were, you, what were you about to talk about before Stank's time? So, Ethan, tell him. All right, a little bit of a backstory. So, okay. me and Dallas went to Metallica. When was that? Like 2018? 2017 or 2018, we saw them in It was definitely not 17. I think it was 18. And And why'd you ask me, you fucking son of a bitch? I thought it could be 19. Anyways, Mm -hmm. doesn't matter. We go to this bar that some people that I met told me to go to because they owned it. We ended up going to the wrong bar. But anyways, we were sitting there. Nice. I was just talking to a guy. Um, like chatting it up, you know, just talking about whatever. And I end up finding out that it was Robert's brother. Um, Bass player for Metallica, his brother. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Robert Trujillo's brother. So whatever, had, you know, Dallas took a picture with him, and it was like, you know, cool. We were talking. I didn't even know I had his number. He reminded me because we were just joking around, like I should hit him up or something, and I just completely forgot. So I was I was saying that I was going to text him and see if they were in town, you know, for the show. And so when we were at the show Saturday seeing Fugitive, I just texted him and was like, yo, are you in town or whatever, um, you know, for the shows we're here. And he said he's at the auto show. And that is Robert's son's band. Right, Dallas? Yeah. Yep. He plays bass. Okay. So he goes, we're at the auto show. Um, I'm going to be here for a while. I said, okay, we might come over there. I don't really know. You know, might see you. He's like, okay. So, um, I just look it up. The show ended at like maybe 10 o'clock. And so I just 
look up where the show is that he's talking about, and it's like a mile away. Um, they played it. I think it was like three links or something like that. Yeah, right there in Dallas. Um, so it was a mile away, and it said it didn't start till eleven, which was you know like an hour later. So we Ubered over there, and just we just went over. I was just gonna go see him. Like I thought it'd be cool to see the band and everything. Like yeah. I didn't I didn't really know much about um that you know Robert's son had a band or whatever. So we get over there and. Um, first of all, we couldn't get in the, apparently they were sold out is what I was told. So yeah, it, it was to, to backtrack no, no, no. a little bit, Yeah, you need to, to backtrack a little bit. <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We met this guy at, at this bar in Birmingham and he just straight up told us that he was Robert's brother. Like we didn't ask. We just him. talked to him for a while. He just, Hey, hello. I'm, I'm Robert from Metallica's brother. No, yeah, well, no, we like, talked for a while because we talked yeah, about yeah. surfing and shit and like all kind of different things, like whatever. Yeah, and he just gave us his fucking phone number. Okay, <laughs> like he just gave us his phone number. How to I pick didn't... up guys? <laughs> 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 and we we hadn't spoke to the guy in like what? How long has it been, bro? I didn't even know five I had his years? number. I swear five to God, year, six yeah. years, five, five. Damn. Yeah, he remembered us. It was like five or six years. We didn't so talk damn to him. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> And he, I was like, dude, well, imagine if you just texted him or whatever. Ha, ha, ha. And we're like, no, nah, man, don't do that. Like, no, nah, don't do it. Don't do it. It's like, oh, maybe do it. Maybe just the juices started there. flowing at the fugitive show. I'm like, bro, <laughs> I cannot waste this opportunity. Like, maybe he is in town. You know, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> and so Ethan hits him up. We, we Uber over there and we walk into the venue and uh, the guy at the door is like, sorry, it's sold out. No, no one else can come in. And I'm like, for real? I'm like, there's absolutely no way for anybody else to come in. He's like, no, nah, can't happen. Sorry. I'm like, for real? He's like, yep, not going to happen. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. Because it was, it was Otto and Bastardane. And, and Bastardane, James Hatfield's son, is the drummer of them. Okay. And they were the first band to go on. And so we're like kind of bummed out. We're like, fuck, man. I'm like, that sucks. I'm like, oh, well. And then uh, we walk outside of the venue, which is like a little, it's basically like oh, a no. little bar before Robert walks by while we're having this conversation. I don't even think you, me and Jacob saw it. Robert just comes walking right by me and goes out the front door. Yeah. I was like arguing with the, with the guy at the door. <laughs> As the guy, <laughs> like, please let me in. Walks past you. Like, nice. no, I was trying to see Robert's, you know, Wolfie, his brother, but Robert came walking by. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay. So like the bass player from Metallica. So, and, my friend is like, what the fuck? Like, it was just all happened so quick. I don't know. It was, it was very fast. But, yeah, I basically walked up to Robert, and I was like, yo, I'm looking for your brother. Like, I was texting him, and he said to come through, and and there's no tickets. He's like, oh, he's right there. Like, just go uh, ask him or whatever. And the guy that was with Robert said I can hook him up or whatever. So, Robert's like, I'm going to yeah, go like get one a taco. Yeah, one of his security <laughs> guards was with him. And he was oh, like shit. he was like, follow me. And then Robert just like, All right, I'm going to get a taco. And then just like <laughs> <laughs> runs down the street. It was unbelievable. It so really was. The, I have no I don't casual, know. Casual. And I told Ethan, I'm like, there how many people have went up to the bass player of Metallica and said, Hey, uh, where's your brother? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. like, That's yeah. probably the first. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a first. <laughs> I didn't want to so be confused. like, yo, like, I, I didn't want to be oh. weird or anything. I was just like, I'm having trouble finding your brother. You know? <laughs> or is he at? I don't know. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. <laughs> like, do I know you? Oh. <laughs> he actually oh. said, oh, I'm a big fan. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, yeah, so we went up to him or whatever, and he let us helped us get in. And, uh, yeah, well, I mean, we got to go into the show, which was fucking awesome by the way yeah it's cool that he like he remembered you guys and shit too yeah and yeah, i stared dude. at the guy that was at the door when we walked in yeah just gave him like the i gave him the stank eye classic like, stank dallas eye, yeah. mad at someone <laughs> doing their job <laughs> <laughs> how you like that i was, I was angry dude i was because like, dude there was room for a couple more people dude, in there 100 there, there was there was more room there definitely was 
And there was, because we got in there. Right. We got in there. I was just a liar, professional liar, <laughs> asshole. Yeah, and I walked up to the bar and I took the shot of the most disgusting, rotten whiskey that some random guy gave to me, which I would what? highly recommend not ever doing. Uh huh. But, you know. It was definitely house whiskey, like the most emotions were high. Yeah, it was like old crow. <laughs> emotions it was like were high. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to have some fun. Just some random dude. Yeah, I walked Not up to the bar. Not even like a bartender, just some random guy's drink. Just some guy at the bar. I walked up and he was like, "There you go, buddy." I was like, "All right, oh, you good enough for me?" And yep. dude, and then he finishes I, I, a shot, and the guy's like, "That's for trolling me on GTA." <laughs> and then you slowly see pass the light out and wake up. <laughs> in the back of the I did that shot and I was just like, Poof. it was like everything in my face wanted to come out of my head at that moment. Eesh. That shit was disgusting. <laughs> it was probably piss. It was probably straight up piss. That's what it, it looked was like. His, probably his drug test. He just fed you. <laughs> I saw that and I turned around. I was like, I'm not getting involved in this. Yeah. It looked like shit. Emotions were high, all right? That's all I'm going to say. Understandable. Drink a guy's <laughs> piss. It was perfect, too, though. We walked in after, he, you know, he helped us get in. <clears throat> and Bastardane started, like, uh, almost immediately, really. Like, we got there at yep. the perfect time. How, how was their set? <sighs> it was sick. Dude, they are really good, to be honest. Those yeah. guys are nice. And, it, dude, it's so cool because, like, I've always watched Laura. I always loved the drums. So I've always like watched Lars and shit and everyone, you know, like if you watch Metallica, you know how he makes those faces and everything and like seeing yeah. the fact that like James's son is up there and dude, he makes the same faces. Like it's so crazy. <laughs> it, yeah. And I was just sitting there watching like, dude, this kid has probably seen him like in the studio, like jamming, like warming up for shows, doing shows, just, you know what I mean? Like obviously. And also seen some of the best drummers ever. Correct. Right. Yeah. But yeah. it was his, sick, uh, dude. his life path was pretty much determined for him being born <laughs> into that lineage. Yeah, I feel like you have no other choice. <laughs> right. It was badass. It was really cool. Yep. We had really good barbecue. Terry Blacks. Yeah. Very, very good. Which actually I saw something that that Pecan Lodge place. Yeah. That's the thing I, heard, I sent you. Was did you send me that? Well, remember I sent you. No, no, that. yeah, it was in that in that video. The guy said like, it's like number one barbecue in the world, or so at least fucking, in we, Dallas or whatever. Lofty claim. We uh we missed out. We missed out on that one. Yeah, we went to <laughs> ye old Terry Blacks again. <laughs> hey, it was still fucking good though. If you if you are around a Terry Blacks, ten out of ten recommend. Bro, I could not live near one of those. No, nah. oh, bro, I spent seventy five dollars on my own food. <laughs> Damn boy. I ate it it's twice and it. still had to throw some away. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet they feed you good in Texas. Oh yeah, yeah, very oh, good yeah. tacos I, and everything. I, I had a chicken place called Wild Peckers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, we got back, you know, and we were like, eh, pretty much everything was closed, and we were all hungry, and we're so we're all DoorDash and food. And I was like, Wild Peckers Chicken Place. I'm like, with a name like Peckers, right? I mean, you like, got to be. You gotta just text like your 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 boys and be like, "You guys want to go to Wild Peckers tonight?" No context. <laughs> yeah. It was not good though. I did not enjoy it. Damn it! I was let down by the Wild Peckers. <laughs> Hold my chicken to a high standard. Chick Fil A, praise God. <laughs> yeah, that is the highest standard. The you grow standard. up with Chick Fil A. Yeah, it's hard to be impressed. <laughs> oh, there's some good food out there though. Oh yeah. Dude, what have you been up to? Um, nothing quite as exciting as Wild Peckers and Metallica. Amen. This last week, I pretty much edited videos and worked on guitar shit, so nothing crazy. What kind of I guitar need to, shit? I need to travel more, bro. I agree. Um, what did I do? I worked on. I'm working on another Talkbox video, so I've had feeding tube time in my mouth again. Nice. Talkbox is a lot of fun. Um, I got a, a dope video coming out probably in a few days that we were just talking about before we started this. Um, we all tried to make a song in an hour, uh, and it actually, we cranked out a fucking masterpiece. We did. That I think you guys are going to love. So I'll probably have that up in a few days. Absolutely. Very epic. Very good video. 
Um, <laughs> that's about arr. all I've been up to, though. Yeah, we made a we made a spicy little pirate song. <laughs> I think people are going to be really surprised by that song, honestly. Well, my intention with the series was to do like just dog shit in about an hour, but like we actually like put our heads down and we we spent like eight to ten hours on it and made a. It's actually a good song, unironically. I've yeah, like we listened to man. it for not not for the meme, just like hey, this actually sounds pretty good. So, yeah, I put it on in my truck a couple times and cranked it all the way up. Like That's a, some good ass driving music, dude. The, the, uh, <laughs> like the mixed, or, or uh, is it mixed and mastered that you did? That you sent? Yeah, that's that's pretty much the final. Yeah, yeah. That it sounds really fucking good. <laughs> nice. You did a good job on the engineering side of things. <clears throat> Thank you, Papa. You do all that? Yeah. The mixed. Well. Yeah, that's what I was going to school for. I don't remember a, a lick of it, but just kind of just from trial and error, figuring shit out, pretty much. That's pretty dope. But yeah, so that's pretty much all I've done is just make videos this last week. Well, it's I'm been so 132 degrees, so you'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Need to go north. Fuck this shit. <laughs> yeah, right. North for the summer. Dude, what's your dream travel place? You said you need to travel more. What's like your ideal place to go? I'd like to leave the continent. I'd like to go over to like Europe, maybe like Rome and shit, Greece, stuff like that. I've I've only been to like a little bit of Canada and just all over the United States. So I'm right there. Probably with like you. European shit. I know a lot of people want to go to Japan, but I don't. I don't get the immediate appeal of Japan. I guess it's cool, but I like going places where everyone speaks English too. That sounds daunting to me. Yeah. Well, I think over in Europe they speak like English zero point five. I don't know if it's English too. Right. They haven't got the update yet. Yeah. Well, it's I not thought in developed. Rome they speak Italian. Like, do they not speak? What kind of pizza you want? Do they not speak a little bit of the English? I don't know. No, they definitely do. I'm just messing around. Yeah. That's why I want to go to like uh, the UK and stuff like that, like Ireland and all. Yeah. I think it'd be cool to go there. We met an Irish couple in Texas. We sat down and at this bar and they came in when we talked to them for a little bit. They were kind of hard to understand sometimes. I think that I'm pretty good at what understanding. What are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> What do you mean by that, Lottie? Because <laughs> they, they, they were speaking kind of fast, and I was kind of struggling to keep up with what they were saying. And I, I, would, I always think that I'm like, oh, I'm pretty good at understanding people with like accents like that. But sometimes they'd talk, and I'd be like, I don't know what I the fuck not. you're saying. It's the speed. I am not good, bro. I have had so many instances where I, I'm at a Chinese restaurant, and the waiter's just like... <laughs> He's speaking like hieroglyphics to me, and I just can't. <laughs> I'm but so see, that's like broken accents. English, though. Yeah, that's less of an accent and more of a what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad because I'm like I'm like looking to my friends as like translators. Like, did you did you hear what he said? Like, what is happening? Like, bro. Oh, so you're that guy. Like you. You're that guy that looks at the other people at the table. Like, did you hear what this asshole said? I can't understand what this <laughs> fucking idiot saying. Anybody understand what the hell this man's saying? <laughs> what the fuck did he say? Oh, he ain't speaking translate. American. Yeah. See, I always try to be polite, so I just I look at him and nod my head and smile. But yeah, but what if they're like, you want and the then they're confused. chicken? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I just look and smile like this, and I nod my head. And it's the worst when they've asked you a question and you're right. you're trying to like fake understanding what they say and they then they look confused. <laughs> like, they're like, you didn't answer you the question. Answer me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was this there's this one restaurant that I was a regular at for a while, and and he would always try to ask me life questions, and because uh, we go there all the time, and like he's like asking me shit about college, and no matter what he said, I was just like, uh huh, yeah. <laughs> He's yep. like, have you killed anybody before? And you're like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Many times. A couple times. So, <laughs> I feel so bad, but I just, I don't know. Some people have a better ear for that shit. I do not. This lady anyway, was just Irish talking couple. fast. That's true, too. They, some people think that if they speak English fast like that, then that it, no, so, oh, it makes it from worse. Texas, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, what about this Irish couple that was speaking bad? I mean, they weren't speaking bad. I was just, I, I just couldn't understand them. It was oh, the yeah. speed, yeah, yeah. Once, yeah. once they started drinking a little bit and Slowed speaking down. at, yeah, fast volumes, mock speed. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I, what? <laughs> yeah. 
They had taken oh. a detour to go see Metallica. Where are they supposed to go? Back home to Ireland. Oh. It's a good good detour. Yeah, right. They were fucking cool. Tonight. They were like they, they didn't they say they went to like they went up through Mexico. Well, they went, they went on, on like a, a two-week voc- vacation or something. They were on a cruise, I think. They went to Texas to go on a cruise, and then they were supposed to go back, and they just extended it a little bit to see Metallica. I was like, not a bad Based. idea. Based Ireland. I think it'd be cool to go over there, though. For sure. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I feel like I've seen like most of the United States and Canada. Ain't nothing happening up there. So. <laughs> I feel like unless you're going somewhere in America to do something like specific, it all kind of has a similar vibe. You know what I mean? Like everywhere has a gas station and a McDonald's. Yeah. Plus the architecture is like the same, like almost everywhere with a few exceptions. Like there's some cool shit in like New Mexico or whatever, where the buildings look different, but like every place looks the same building wise. And other really countries more aren't the, like that. the landscape, I guess. Yeah. Landscape is different. Cities are all the exact yeah. same. Smelly and stinky, and there's a McDonald's, and there's a gas station. Yeah. <laughs> it's a truth. Everywhere. <laughs> America's boating. I want to go I want to go get lost. And like, you should know, go dude. get lost. <laughs> I want to go get lost in like a forest in a foreign country with no phone. That sounds and like a no... horrible idea, bro. <laughs> Which foreign country? Because that makes a big difference. I want to get dropped in like the middle of China in like a, a forest, <laughs> and my phone gets taken away, and I have to figure out how to get back home. Try not to fall in an ancient Vietnam spike trap. Challenge. I said China. <laughs> you fucking. <laughs> you guys I... hear this asshole? I can't understand what he's saying. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> You're going to no, get killed mean, by though. some fucking eight-foot spider, dude. No one's going to ever hear from you. <laughs> it At would least. be cool, though, to do, like, the forest IRL, though. I mean, minus maybe, like, cannibal memes, but, like, going out and just trying to live off the land, like, primitive technology, build a shelter kind of thing. You guys can speak for right. yourself. I got to rip off my jeans and eat them as I'm trying to survive in the forest with an eight-foot spider chasing me around. <laughs> All I can ever think of, I say it every time, people want to do shit like that. I just want to bring someone from 100, 200 years ago up and be like, these people could easily just stay in a hotel room or live at home, <laughs> and they're fucking running from a wild hippo, <laughs> just like no. we were doing. Like, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like oh. No, I don't, I don't actually want to do that. But the, the fantasy of it sounds like it could be fun. It'd be a I fun like to dream. think I could survive. I like to think that I'd be able to build a shelter with my hands, but I know I I'd, I'd just can't. How long do you guys think y'all would last in the in the wilderness? It depends on where you country. are, honestly. Foreign country. You've never been there before. What do you mean? How's though? the climate? Uh climate is similar to wherever you're from, but you've just never been there before. You have no idea what's going on. If it's uh, so we have to live outside? Yeah. Okay, well it's hundred and eighty degrees here, so I'd probably die that night. Dehydration <laughs> probably would take us very quickly. <laughs> I would die in one day. Like I couldn't, dude. I couldn't sit in my backyard all day. I don't think without fucking water my lawns like a survival challenge. <laughs> oh fuck! Probably, I wonder. Probably like a week though. Realistically, I don't think because I wouldn't know what to eat. I feel like I'd eat some poison shit and just like get scurvy and die or something. And like, what about other animals? Like, are you somewhere that's got like a bear or something? Possibly. Right. You don't know. You have no idea. I feel like I could make a a sweet spear, but, like, I don't know if I could kill anything. (laughs) Yeah, you think that spear is real nice until you see, like, a grizzly running at you, and you're like, this is not shit. And then he just eats it. Yeah. He breaks it in half with his eyeball. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. What would you guys do if you got (laughs) dropped into a herd of monkeys? You guys think he could This is what he does. I have options. Bro, he was doing this on the plane. He's like, what if a bird hits the window? It's like, I, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> what if a goose gets in the turbine and we all die? That's what he's, he's asking me all these questions. I'm like, I have no idea, bro. I'm, I'm trying to watch the Little League World Series. <laughs> I like thinking of hypothetical situations. Like, what if we were all on a plane, like a regular plane? I just what, hit what? a tower. Like, what, what are you doing? Like what a, are you doing what, in that the, situation? Not an irregular CRJ plane. CRJ 700. 
Oh my right? god. We're on one of those. <laughs> okay. Look it up, people. It's a real one. We're on one of those. And a gorilla is spawns in the back of the plane. Okay. He asked me this. What would be your first step? Like, what would what would be your first line of defense from the gorilla on well, the plane? First, let me see. What what is this plane called? How big is this plane? It's not big. Uh, it's one of those like two or three rows on each side. I would go okay. immediately lock myself in one of the bathrooms. <laughs> see, <laughs> now we're thinking with our dipsticks. But don't you think that gorilla could punch that door down in one? I time? asked him. This, this is he, what we started talking about. See, and I said, "Dude, I don't fucking know, man." No, see, this guy <laughs> he he wants to get into the conversation when it's safe, and then when he doesn't have an idea of anything, he's like, "Oh, right, I I'm don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it." <laughs> Because you're asking me. I I feel like that thing would be the alpha of that plane within about three seconds. I think it would would take over, it would rush the cockpit, and we'd be dead. It would probably run so fucking fast, it would like throw the plane (laughs) off fucking. It would probably flip the plane over. (laughs) The plane just immediately, his ass down, starts falling. The plane's like doing this in the air because he's he's running back and forth. (laughs) I asked him, does he think. (laughs) <laughs> Does he think that because they lock the cockpit where the pilots are for obvious reasons? Yeah. Do you think if a gorilla made it up there, could they could they rip the door yes. open? A hundred percent. I don't know. A tiny thin piece of plastic and maybe some metal. You think it's it, really it, thin though? I mean, they put well, that there so people can't kill the pilots and like you know, right? People some aren't dumb gorillas. Shit. Right. But do you think a gorilla? Do you, is, and I asked him, do you think that's how they test those things? The doors where the pilots are. Do you that's think they when use I checked gorillas? out of the conversation. <laughs> just an <just, just> honest <laughs> question. How, how else would they, they test them? Stress test it. <laughs> that would be a good I, stress I, I test. If a, if a gorilla can't open that door, it can't no, uh, hijack can. the plane. I was actually saying this the other day. I feel like the president should replace all White House security staff with silverback apes. <laughs> how, could it, how could anyone get to the president? It's the same. Uh, the, Bro, sa- the th- same thing applies to anywhere. And then, like, when like the that bodyguard of- that checked you guys at that concert to get into Robert's son should have been an ape. You would have never seen his son. Right. Well, we would have never got in. Her brother. Because as soon as I try and, and contest, you would have bit ape, someone's face off. I, if I, as soon right. as I would have been like, it's actually sold out. He would have grabbed me by my hair and ripped me in half. Right. Long Scalped ways. It, and then fuck the scalp. Yeah. He would have. So- probably- what happens when off, the leader of the United me. States gets mauled by an ape? How do we explain that? <laughs> well, then well, obviously he wasn't, he wasn't video? alpha enough. He wasn't right. alpha enough he to be the leader suited. of the apes. That's wasn't fair. suited to lead us. If you can't walk amongst the ape and they all bowed their head down in respect, <laughs> then you should not be our president. I think the world would be a better place if every country trained a fucking silverback ape. And instead of going to war, we just had a pay-per-view event where we put these gorillas in a fucking, like, in a cage and made them fight to the death. It might be a little unhumane, but inhumane, whatever you want to say. Unhuman. I prefer the un- real word. It's definitely un- <laughs> unhuman and inhumane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but tell me that wouldn't be a way better way instead of killing people. You know, you just have two gorillas going at it. I mean. I would, I would spend a lot of money to watch that happen. Is, is the fate of the war, like, are they going to? All right, well, you can have Ukraine because the Ukrainian ape lost. Like, is, is, is the fate decided by the ape? Like the Pokemon fate of the match? world is dependent upon who can train monkeys better, basically. I'm telling you, the world would be a better place. <laughs> that would be sweet. <laughs> and they have, like, a Super Bowl. Zoology would be, like, the number one major in college. <laughs> yeah, imagine the Olympics, but it's all trained ape at all of the events. I'm telling you, dude, you just, you get a gorilla in a cage with like, uh, you know, an American gorilla versus like a, I don't know, a Syrian gorilla. And you just stuff them full of like crack and speed. And you just give them like a gallon of Red Bull and let them go at it. Tell me that. Smack their ass and then close the cage behind them. Yeah. You like shoot them with a paintball gun to piss them off and then throw them in the cage. I like the (laughs) idea. I would say we shouldn't let the fate of the world be decided on that but that is a good idea though we should, we should just do it for fun Fuck right it. <laughs> let's just do yeah. it for money like everyone else does right <laughs> if we can bet on horses and chicken fights why not this well i, I think we chicken fights are, chicken are fights. illegal yeah uh, i think two gorillas killing each other on pay-per-view would probably be illegal i feel like there wouldn't be many loopholes you'd have to go through to make that happen though we could just stream sure it live on twitter 
there's probably some like secret Squid Games organization that's already been doing this. I'm we have sure just years exists. of footage ready <laughs> to upload. <laughs> I'm going to get like a fucking sacred letter in my mailbox. It's like, <laughs> we welcome you to the ape fighting society. It's sealed with like a spell that you have to disenchant <laughs> just to open it and read it. You have to like it. beat your chest to open it. <laughs> <laughs> this is so, I like thinking of hypotheticals because anything is possible. Me too. And, well, you know, we're not really. the first people to think about this. What do you mean, not really? I mean, a gorilla What's, could what? not spawn on a plane. I mean, if it... And, and how would you not know on a plane that small that there's a thousand-pound beast in the back? It depends on no your one definition of spawn, though. <laughs> not If he means spawn out of thin air like God snapped him there, probably not. But what if it's lab-grown Donkey Kong and you release the tube? I mean, technically, he spawned. Or what if someone gets shot with a monkey ray gun and they transform? Or, or that. Well, yeah. then shoot it again with the same ray gun. Well, then it becomes bigger monkey. It's a one-way ray gun. Blows the, the okay, tail off so the you, plane. You, you shoot someone with a monkey ray gun, and they turn into a gorilla. They immediately rip the ray gun out of your hand, so you can't change them back. So then they start shooting other people with it, and so now you've got like 20 gorillas on the plane. If I saw that happen, I'd jump out of the plane. I don't want to be here. <laughs> That doesn't Probably even a better fate. <laughs> no, I'm like, maybe I'll land in hot dog in this water. Scenario. No, you have to pick your best chance for survival. Well, which maybe is quite a good That might actually be your best chance for survival. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll land in hot dog water. <laughs> hey, dude, nothing makes sense anymore. <laughs> maybe I'll get a parachute ray gun and shoot it on my back. Maybe the world's softest material spawns beneath me with another ray gun. Maybe I don't I'll know. Maybe a portal gun and I'll go through the earth. No, that's what you do. You jump out holding the ray gun and you keep shooting it down and you're just spawning a million gorillas and you land on them. And it is soft gorilla enough mattress. to break the fall. Yeah. I don't know. If gorillas <laughs> can ever be considered soft. Okay, though. so then you're going to you're gonna save yourself by spawning like 100,000 gorillas. And then they're all going to tumble down and be wreak havoc on the world. No. So that, they died on impact. That's not... Gorillas don't have fall damage. <laughs> they always land on their feet. Well, then once again, I don't want to be here because there's too much <laughs> shit that I can't handle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. you're, not, you're not trained for this scenario what are the pilots gonna do when they land and there's 500 gorillas in the fucking oh, we can't land there's gorillas on the runway everywhere. the plane is just <laughs> do you like think they the worst turbulence ever to make the plane do like that the plane is just like coming in like this and they can't even straighten it out <laughs> <laughs> just red mist, just, just disintegrating gorillas left and right. They're just so. They're, oh, you just see sparks flying and gorilla chunks behind the plane as it's landing. There's gorilla plane. shit pouring out of the doors. <laughs> <laughs> All because Ethan had to oh. jump and make gorilla on Earth. Because, bro, I'm not sitting in there. I'm putting myself in the bathroom. That's what I'm going to do. And you see, he got mad at me for asking him these questions on the flight. These, we need answers. That's because Ethan. you made me accidentally say hijack really loud on the plane. On a, I did not <laughs> he mean did to do say it. hijack really loud on the plane. And that was an accident. One word you can't say. Yeah. He was like, what hijack. do you mean if a gorilla hijacked the plane? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, dude, was dude, like, I was like, shh, 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 keep it down, dude. <laughs> I was getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> People are starting to murmur that there's a gorilla hijacking the plane. <laughs> have to do an emergency landing. That's why I didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Ethan was getting passionate. <laughs> You're like, dude, do you know about planes? It's like, that has nothing to do with a plane, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a good question, though. It's a fair hypothetical, to be fair. I wonder what normal people talk about when they're traveling. <laughs> Where they're going, what they're going to do. Probably boring shit. Like, ooh, how long until the plane lands? Mm. They're not talking about gorillas and ray guns taking over the fucking world. You know what I mean? Spawning in gorillas on a fucking Airplane. plane. That is a great conversation topic. Was That's an icebreaker. It, was, it is. Did, was this a plane where it's two-seaters or was it three? Did you have a, another person there? No, it was two, thankfully. Uh, no one beside us could hear. 
Hopefully, yeah, the no aisle one, was like man. two feet wide. I mean, there's a person <laughs> right there. <dude. laughs> Hopefully, no one heard this conversation. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I can hear everything everyone says around me, so they probably did. <laughs> it's not like the other side of the plane is like a quarter mile away. Like, there's someone sitting two feet from me. <laughs> Just yeah, across the aisle. around in his seat. He's like, well, here's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> you get the whole plane involved. See, that's what I'm saying. It would be an interesting conversation. <laughs> you get all walks of life on a plane. You know what I mean? You get like businessmen. You get like rug salesmen. You get An ancient I mean, Chinese monk is like, here's what I would do. Yeah, exactly. You get, yeah. People from Tibet. Yep. There's just all kinds of shit on a plane you've never seen before. And so it would be a great conversation to have. Next time you guys sit beside someone random on the plane, you get a <laughs> Just ask him something ask like him. that. <laughs> I will. Maybe hitting the fucking button so fast. I mean, you'll the definitely, flight attendant. They'll definitely flight land attendant. the plane and you will be gone. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> they will land immediately. <laughs> hey, dude, what if a gorilla spawned right behind us? <laughs> what if there's a gorilla under your chair right I'd be now? like, dude, back the fuck up. <laughs> What if a gorilla terrorist wanted to take this plane? What if the plane turns into a cheesecake? I don't know. Leave me alone. <laughs> that would be fucking awesome. Cheese? That's how you make friends in today's world. That is true. If they're like people, what are you doing for a living? <laughs> boring. That is a boring question. It is. I agree. Small talk is dog shit in general. It's nice to just go up to someone and be like, what 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 do you do if leg was hot dog, you know? <laughs> that is the best way to get to know a guy. What if you had a ray gun that turned people to gorillas? <laughs> Person's like, excuse me? Well, I guess I'd use it. Uh... If somebody asked me that, I'd be like, oh, dude, let me tell you what. I, my first step, <laughs> you know, I'd go, you got to go all into detail with it. That's how you make cool friends, you know, not right. like, oh, well, the stocks today. Yeah, my 401k 5%. grew 2%. <laughs> the stocks took a 5% downward uh, trend, according to the NASDAQ newspaper. See, that's when I wish I had the gorilla ray gun, because that person would turn into a gorilla instantly. Right, they're better off monkey, for sure. Amen to that. I, th I bet stocks for airlines would go up if there were people spawning gorillas on planes. <laughs> <laughs> You think more or less people would fly they if should, gorillas started spawning? Well, I was going to say, they should do like every hundred flights. Like, you don't know if it's yours. <laughs> like it's Willy Wonka or something. <laughs> Today's lucky winner. This could, be, <laughs> this, <laughs> <on the> ticket. <laughs> this could be monkey flight. And a fucking silverback just comes flying up the center aisle. <laughs> just hear his feet. <laughs> just ripping hair out. Just <laughs> Welcome to Spirit Airlines. <laughs> In the event of a monkey spawning in, please wear the, the, the oxygen mask. Yeah, that's like part of their, yeah, part of the, the flight attendants are like, now there is a, a nine millimeter under your chair. <laughs> there is a deployable <laughs> banana costume under everyone's seat. The exit rows have RPGs. Well, it is rather unlikely there is a dart gun under your seat for the event of gorilla spawning in. <laughs> While a gorilla hijacking is unlikely. <laughs> One in 100, parentheses. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a tranquilizer. <laughs> oh, hmm. see, I'd get on that plane though. Oh hell yeah! You want to talk about a fucking outstanding video? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You get to take it home. Whoever tranquilizes it, you get to you keep it. You drag it out like it's a carry on. Yeah. <laughs> Or no, they just stack them up. So by the thousandth plane, there's ten of them. <laughs> there's just a gorilla corpse claim. coming through the baggage <laughs> claim. Just a fucking gorilla passed out. <laughs> just completely, just sprawled out. Just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody watches you just put it over your back and just take it home. <laughs> we had the same thought at the same second. <laughs> the mental image. Oh, God. Now I cannot oh. wait to fly again. I'm hype. <laughs> See, dude, this is why you need to travel, man. Yeah, I used to, but then COVID, and now I haven't. I need to get back into it, man. It's good I, uh, for the mind. Next time, uh, next time the flight attendant asks me if I need anything, I'm going to be like, uh, will we be expecting gorilla spun in on flight today? What are chances? Please ask that. They will I'm deboard the plane. <laughs> 
They're going to put a parachute on your head and throw you out. You're going to be like that lady who's just like, there's something back there. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, that <laughs> motherfucker right there is a silverback gorilla. It's just an empty seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh I saw <clears> him. <throat> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Did we ever figure out what that bitch actually saw? What did she see? What happened with her? She said that and then she just disappeared. I've seen videos that are like, she's spoken now for the first time. I haven't watched any of it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I didn't either. Because, I mean, I, I didn't really. I figured it would be like there. a 30-second video. Like, look, I was hammered. I was fucked up. Okay? Yeah. I took a lot of, you know, uh, what do you call it? When people get nervous on the plane. Nervous pills. I know. Yeah. And. Um. But how many would you have to take to think there's like a cyborg sitting next to you? That's I don't crazy. know. I have no idea. I'd like to know what she said about it. I really don't know. I haven't even seen that video. I know what video you guys are talking about, but I just have not watched it. <clears throat> I just don't want to watch it. Because anytime I see someone yelling on a plane, I'm like, I know where this is going. <laughs> like, I yeah. just don't need... <laughs> yeah. She said oh. there was someone, something by her or... Or next to her or something. She freaked out. Whatever it was. I don't know. Heavily medicated moments. Someone stole her AirPods or something? I don't I don't remember if that's why she freaked out in the first place. I don't remember her saying that. Or maybe that was speculation. <laughs> oh, fuck There's a God. cyborg! I think someone took her AirPods. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other explanation. What <laughs> makes else? Sense to me. What <laughs> else would have stolen the AirPods? I have to be a say that. I don't know why they think that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to fly now. You got me hyped. <laughs> it's definitely have a good an experience. conversation with someone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Airports. Most of the flights I'm on, people just like put headphones on and like look in the most farthest away possible direction of me. Like no one wants to have a conversation about anything. <laughs> That's kind of how it is for me everywhere I go. And then you got soup <laughs> over here, and everyone wants to be like, hey, look at my leg. That's a good leg right there. I do whatever the fuck that guy said to you. Oh, yeah. Some of the weirdest dudes. Had the Vegas show. Remember that, Ethan? When the guy walked up to me with a picture of his leg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when we were seeing I'll never Cody Jenks. that story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what did he say? It was like a $100,000 or a million dollar leg or he, something? Yeah, he said... Isn't that a nice leg? And you were like, you didn't even say anything, I think. And then he like doubled down. He like walked back over, like, uh, I didn't show this guy my leg enough. I need to show him again. Yeah. And, and he I tried said, to I impress said, you even more or something. Yeah. Like, he was like, this is a $100,000 leg. And I was like, nice. I got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> it was and then so he just weird. walked away. Just walked away. Yeah. I don't encounter people like that. It just seems like some people are attracted. Like, some people attract those types of strange humans. Yeah, I don't know what it could be is. about me at all. You're I preaching no to the choir. My my brother has the same, like, things. Like, I just went to the gas station, and I met the weirdest <clears throat> dude. I'm like, that, how, how? How does this always happen to you? I honestly understand that. I feel like I tell people a story, and they're like, it's always you. It always happens to you. I'm like, dude, I'm not fucking doing anything. Right. Just living my life. <laughs> Maybe I'm approachable. That's a good thing, right? I should be a salesman. I guess, well, I guess it can be. <laughs> Maybe it's the AR-15 I wear on my back everywhere. Maybe that's why people don't talk to me. Could be that. <clears throat> or the guitar. Always got that guitar on that your back. That is true. You the think AR somebody would request a song, but they just, they just don't. Just don't. You're always walking around with your Hello Kitty guitar and Hello Kitty AR-15 on your back. I mean, Hello. come on. A Hello Kitty AR-15 has got to be a conversation starter. <laughs> Definitely would be. <laughs> Bro, I know <laughs> when you're walking around the airport, it is, it's just a lot, dude. I don't know. My, my ADHD kicks in. There's just so much shit going on. Yep. So many there people walking with shit. purpose. I told him I feel like I'm just in the GTA story mode. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it feels like. <clears throat> Do you behave like you're in GTA story mode? Is what you should be doing. I run around. 
jump over walls and roll around and shit. Just shoulder check people constantly. <laughs> the fuck out of my way. <laughs> yeah. I just take massive shits in the bathrooms and don't flush. <laughs> oh, my band is opening for saliva. That's something cool that's happening. <clears throat> Hell yeah. When's that happening? Uh, Next month. Ye doggy. September 8th and 9th. We're opening for them. Is that going to be a bigger show? Columbia. Is that like a bigger uh, venue? It's at venues we've already played before, but I can imagine oh, they're, nice. probably, they're probably going to be more packed than usual. Yeah. I, would, I would hope. Click, click, boom! Yeah, that's epic, dude. You guys are playing sick. with some other uh, pretty crazy bands and hitting their RVs and shit while you're at it. Yeah. That's it's exciting. Just, that's how they'll never forget you. That's what you guys... That's true. <laughs> a little property impression. damage goes a long way. It's all planned, <laughs> baby. <laughs> a little insurance fraud goes a long way. That bitch is playing hard to get. Hit her car. Hit her car. <laughs> that's cool, though. Uh, that will be sick. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. Where's that going to be at? Uh, in Greenville and Columbia, South Carolina. Okay, so you don't even got to, like, truck it. No. Not very far at all. Right right at home. Very sweet. <laughs> right at home. In old South Carolina, baby. South Kakalaki. You going to do us a little magic trick there, boy? Yeah, you got these cards you've been showing off, dude. Show us something cool. Can, Can I, pick I pick a card? A card? All right. Go ahead. If you dude. want, yeah. Go ahead, Soup. No, yeah, I, I implore, insist... I'm just going to end up shooting with a monkey gun and monkey card. I'll take right. one right in the middle. Well, you got to shuffle them because I, yeah, I can't see them. All right. I'll take <laughs> the one by your right hand index finger. Yep. Right there? Yep. I'm not going to look, all right? Uh-huh. I trust you. No, I'm serious. Okay. <laughs> I can't... Uh, <laughs> okay, I got it. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, we got it. I didn't look. I'm telling you that right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. You got to show us how you, where you put it in the deck, Yeah, dude. see, right now you could just it. be, like, looking at the card. You could be putting in your foreskin. I don't know what's happening. Well, what I'm doing is... <laughs> All right. Ready? I'm not looking. It's very hard to do this not in person. <laughs> okay. All right. You have so to far, use some so imagination. Far, I'm impressed. Okay. 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 Basically, you have to imagine you're here for this part. Okay. Because I, what I'm going to do is spread the cards out. Okay. On the table. You. Okay. Oh, no. Wait a second. Oh, God. This is going well. All right. I want to thank everyone <laughs> for coming here today. I messed up on that one. I messed up. Basically, I was going to supposed to know your card, you know, but I fucked up on that. Hang on. Let me try one more wow. time. I'm sorry. That was sorry. very disappointing. You fucking suck, bro. All right. Stop. That one. Right there in the middle. All right, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I just organized these, man. Oh, shit. That was almost a that magic was trick. That was almost a cool trick. What the that hell? That was almost a very cool trick. <laughs> it actually almost blew my balls off. <laughs> almost pulled the same card. All right. I'm not going to lie. I can't do this when it's not in person. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm You're sorry. You're a fake magician. I, it's, you have to see. There's things going on here that you need to You need to get an idea. There's things happening. And you're just seeing the ending of it. And it's like, eh, no big deal. doesn't matter. Well, now you got to do it. But I'm also low intelligence, so it would be very easy to impress me. No, because you, you're not seeing Pull what's my happening. card, you son of a bitch. You can't do it. Pro actually almost did accidental magic. Accidental, you say? Oh, never mind. Purpose. Doctor, doctor, show me the card. Any fucking day now, buddy. David Blaine. Yep. Yep. You know this one? Yeah, yep. I, know, I know that one. I know that card. That's the one. That's the one. Let me ask you this. Was Just give me a card? second here. I have another question we'll for you. The same card. Do you remember this one? I do remember that Ooh, one. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Any other questions? Oh, 
Holy shit, Eddie, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Oh, you know what's crazy, shit. though? Oh. I actually shuffled it, though. You don't understand that. You didn't see it. I shuffled that deck. <laughs> that is correct. I saw nothing. I swear to God, I did. That makes it even more believable when we saw absolutely Holy nothing. Look at the two shit. cards, by the way. You pulled yeah, both you of those. Look at them. One apart. And you that's part of the are. trick. You guys are letting this go right over your head. Oh. You're letting this go right over your fucking oh, head. Okay. You're more advanced than we thought. I'm sorry. I'm I, I the, part of the trick. See, when you do this online, you have to incorporate this in. Part of the trick is to act like you can't really do it. All right, here we go. Uh, so you have okay. to restart. And then you end up doing it twice. Pick a can. So I have doubled. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll take the Zen. All right. Hold on. I'm not looking. I promise. I'm going to shuffle them. You guys didn't get it. It went over your nah, head. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is the can you picked. No. It was actually this one. It's this one. Oh! oh! He got the can! Yeah, baby. Oh, Crazy shit. moment. Crazy moment. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. All right, I don't I think know. That's gonna you. wrap that's, it up. Uh, that's, about <laughs> it for us. that's the podcast. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and also use code Goons and get some G subs. Links for everything will be down in the description. Go download on Spotify, please. Download the podcast on Spotify. I cannot say it enough. Download on Spotify. Also, code goons. I how to do uh, sweet picking on the, the recording. This is code goons. Sweet picking. <laughs> okay, sorry. That was nice. That was pretty cool. Is that a Minor pinch harmonic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of sounded like it, actually. <laughs> flute players, can you pinch harmonic on a, on a flute? That's kind of an accidental one. How did I do that? Oh, there yep, you go. Damn. It. it takes a lot of wrist action. Yes. Little Flute fingering. Flute wristy. Little flute fingering moment. What fret right. were you on? Spotify moment. Uh, it's seven. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye.